Hey there, dedicated dental pros. It's your dental water safety team here at ProEdge Dental Water Labs. I'm Kelly B, and I've got Kelly T next to me. Hi, everyone. She's the safe water specialist, and I'm just the marketing guy. But we're here to help you shock your water lines. We're going to get right to it, but if you need any additional assistance, you can always give Kelly T and her team a call, and they'll be happy to help. That's right. So today, we're going to teach you how to shock your lines using a diluted bleach solution. ProEdge recommends bleach because it is highly effective in just 10 minutes. Several dental unit manufacturers have authorized the use of diluted bleach in their water lines. Including these guys. But if your practice is not comfortable using diluted bleach, we've seen some good results with other products. Competitors. Follow your dental equipment manufacturer's instructions and call ProEdge if you want some guidance. So let's get started. We've got our materials here, nothing too complicated. That's right. You'll need water, tap water from your faucet, bleach, regular old household bleach, a measurement cup, collection cup, timer, latex gloves, and if you're using a straw treatment, you'll need a shock straw or dummy straw. And we're using a kitchen timer, but you can use your phone or watch, but make sure you have an alarm to alert you when the time is up. That's right. So Kelly T, take us through the steps. First, remove the water bottle from your dental unit. We're going to create the diluted bleach solution in the water bottle. Real quick, check your bleach concentrate. Our product uses 8% bleach, but yours may be 6% or 5%. For 8%, add one part bleach to 13 parts water. For six or 5%, add one part bleach for every nine parts water. Pour bleach into your measuring cup and then pour it into your unit's water bottle. Do the same thing with the water, making sure to meet the correct ratio of bleach and water. Now that we have our bleach solution, I'm going to reattach the bottle to the unit and start running the solution into each line. We'll start with the air water syringe. Place the tip into your sink, collection cup, or bucket and activate the syringe. It'll take about 10 seconds, but once you smell the bleach at the air water syringe, the bleach is within your line. Now if you have some trouble smelling it, you can also rub your fingers back and forth against the solution and feel for a noticeable slipperiness once the bleach starts coming through. Repeat the same steps with your ultrasonic scaler, high-speed handpiece lines, and slow-speed handpiece lines. If no water flows through your slow-speed lines, shocking these lines is not necessary. Also, scalers tend to have longer lines, so run the scaler for at least one minute to ensure that the bleach has entered the line. You want to leave the bleach in your lines for only 10 minutes. Monitor your timer. If you're going to do other tasks, keep it close to ensure the alarm can alert you. Okay. Our timer is set, here we go. All right, 10 minutes is up. You're ready to finish the process. Detach your bottle and pour the remaining solution into the sink. Never put it down your evacuation lines. Add warm tap water to your bottle and flush each line for about two minutes, getting all the bacteria and bleach out of the line. Good work. You have successfully shocked your unit's water lines. Now, repeat this process for each dental unit and test your water lines to make sure your protocol was effective. As usual, she's right. The practices who shock, treat, and test consistently have the safest water lines. But if you have any questions about shocking at your office, or developing an effective treatment protocol for your practice, just give our team a call. And feel good. You just invested in your patient's safety.